What's going on guys? Maddie from dclblogger.com. I wanted to make a kind of a, another analysis video on the market in Decentraland just to go over what's been going on with land sales, estate sales. Estates have been out for about a week or something and I just wanted to go through what's been going on with with uh, everything, you know, what are the good deals that have happened. In saying that, I just, like an idiot today, I'm in a bit of a gloomy mood to be honest guys because um, I just sold one of my parcels, my, one of my estates, my four-piece estate. Such a beautiful estate. It was close to Genesis Plaza as well. I was, I was, I meant to list it for one hundred forty-nine thousand. Do you know how much I listed it for? One hundred forty-nine mana. One hundred and forty-nine mana. Forgot to put the three zeros at the end. I don't know why. My body just typed in one hundred forty-nine instead of one hundred forty-nine thousand. And it's picked up literally within seconds. And and by the time I realized and tried to cancel it, the someone had already picked it up. Sad times, but I've got the contact details, so hopefully the guy gets back to me. But you know what? I did tell myself I was going to make this video, and it's going to happen. But you know what the funny thing is? The funny thing is, you know what? This 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 video is going to be a bit of me rambling about random stuff at the start, just because I'm a bit weird right now. But this is the funny thing. My last post was how to sell your land for the best possible price. Isn't that funny? And then the next day I sell a land, an estate for 149 mana. <laughs> oh man, whatever. But uh, I have to say guys, like the Decentraland community have been really, really good. So far, like in, in the Discord chats, there has been people that have sold land for a lot, a lot cheaper than what they meant to list it for. And um, it's sold accidentally, someone's picked it up. And the person that's picked it up has posted the fact that, you know, they've picked up this parcel. If they if someone can get, get back to them, then they can just transfer the parcel back. And it's happened. Another time when uh, someone sold a parcel for 2,400 mana, and we all chipped in to... He meant to list it for 24,000 mana, and we all chipped in for him to get that parcel back. So, you know what? Good things happen. Hopefully, I get my goddamn estate back, to be honest. Anyway... Anyway, let's just chuck all that negativity away. Chuck it away. Did my yoga this morning, felt good. Um, all right guys, so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go through the market, the Decentraland market. Estates have been out for about a week. So there has been more sales, more information, more data, more activity happening in the marketplace. Let's try and figure out where it's all going, okay? I try and start off with going and listing the marketplace by the cheapest because I want to know what the cheapest parcel is at the moment. Obviously, if I check the cheapest parcels and it's at 15,000 today, but three weeks down the track, it's it's like 25,000 mana is the cheapest parcel and that gives me a general idea of the market sentiment. Okay, it's rising, prices are rising um, and it's always best to kind of evaluate from the cheapest parcels because there's a lot of parcels that are way overpriced. Let's just be real. There's parcels that are selling for 100,000 mana when they should really be 149 mana. Just saying. I don't think I can get over that today, but whatever. The, yeah, this path is selling for like 100,000 mana, but they should, they should be like 20,000, 25,000 mana. But um, yeah, so we do a bit of a market scan and we have a look at what's going on. But now there's another category that we look at. There's parcels, then there's estates. Now what I noticed is as soon as estates came out, the number of parcels for sale dropped significantly. Like I think this this number used to be like 15 or 1600. So over the course of a week, they've dropped to about 1300, where, I'll, where um, usually they'd go up. And I think that's due to obviously people buying land, but it's also due to, um, it's also due to people combining their lands to make estates, okay? Um, so I'm going to be using nonfungible.com as usual, but I have another website that I'm also going to be using. It is mydcl.com um, because this guy has incorporated estate sales and there's my freaking 149. Again, why are you looking at me, man? 149 mana. Just to remind me, you know, just in case I forgot, it just, just needs to remind me again, like what happened? Far out. That just burns so much. That's like $10,000 just gone. Root. Oh well, it's gonna be a really weird video, and I'm gonna publish it because that's just how I'm gonna to roll today. All right, market analysis. Let's see. What I'm gonna do is go through the last seven days worth of sales, and um, 
we're going to kind of look at what the good deals were. Obviously, the 149 mana was a freaking good deal, wasn't it? Now, apart from that, all right, all right, I, I will not mention that again. That's more of a promise to myself. But um, this was a good deal. 12,000 mana for a road parcel. Road parcels, like the cheapest one selling was like 17,000 mana. Was this the same seller? So this seller must have just suddenly decided to like dump all of his land. So he's like, whatever, man, I just really need to cash out. Whoa, 10,000 mana. That was a good deal. Far out. Where was I doing when this all was happening? Mm, 20,000 mana. That's a decent sale for the buyer. 100,000 mana. That's pretty good for the seller. Um, I have a similar parcel that's 159,000 mana, which is three or four parcels ahead, like over here somewhere. Should probably drop that to about 140,000. This one is okay, nothing too special, nothing too special, nothing too special. Nope, 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 nope. What do we have? What do we have? I try and look at parcels connected to single roads, they sell for anywhere between say 17 to 25,000. Um, this one sold for 38,000 mana. I think personally, I think that was a good deal because. Um, you know, you're only one parcel away from Genesis Plaza and any parcels connected to a Genesis Plaza If you kind of look around the marketplace, so there's like nine Genesis plazas, plazas all around Decentraland, right? And rarely is there a land actually touching Genesis Plaza for sale as you can see no lands touching that for sale um, No lands touching even this one for sale If you scroll down a little bit, why are we stuck? Okay, we've got some lag um, where are they? There's, there's literally like hardly any more lands for sale. Touch Genesis Plaza. What about this one? Last time I checked, I think the cheapest ones that were going for were like 60 to 80k. Um, 60 to 80k. What about this one? 000, like it's it's hard to get a parcel touching Genesis Plaza for a good price. Four ninety nine. Yeah, like last time I checked, um, there were like I think eighty ninety thousand. So I guess people have just removed their parcels for sale now, selling at Genesis Plaza. So getting picking one up that's you know only one parcel away from a Genesis Plaza for thirty eight thousand mana, I think that could be flipped for about forty five even fifty thousand mana, pretty easily actually. But um, let's see what the guy does with that. Any any parcels in the midst of a ton of like kind of districts, um, they sell for anywhere between fifteen and twenty thousand mana. If you have them clustered together as an estate, then generally they sell for a bit more. Once connected close to a district, so this one's at the corner of a district, right? This one sold for twenty six thousand mana. Fun fact: this sale was not mine, like the most recent one, but this one, ages ago. Wait, that's not that wasn't even mine. This one was mine. Like that's my wallet address. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the, yeah. So I picked it up ages ago and then I resold it for. Oh wait, wait a second. I think I picked it up and and sold it for fourteen thousand eight hundred. So this was, would have been a private deal and I sold it for fourteen eight hundred. Then the guy that picked it up sold it for fifteen two hundred, and then that guy sold it for twenty six thousand mana. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So we have one parcel in, just outside of the minus 50-50 zone, nothing special about that one. 21,000 mana for a single parcel over here. This one I, found, I thought was really interesting. So this was only one parcel away from both Fluffy Land, or two parcels away from Fluffy Land, I think. And one parcel away from um, Ethereum District. So this is up here. Do, do, do. I should move myself. Up, up in this corner. I'll let that load. Um, 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 um. And it was only, you know, it sold for 28,000 mana, which is quite a lot. I actually sold one connected to Ethereum ages ago, like two or three months ago for 23,000 mana. You know, back when the, when Decentraland wasn't this popular. Like now everyone's buying all kinds of land for a lot more than what they would have been a few months ago. Like land, land prices have gone up, guys. Like land prices have significantly increased over the last two months. Like I'm looking at these, and I remember I'm going through some of my chat history, and I and I remember making deals for like seven thousand, eight thousand mana a parcel. 
or offers and people would take me up on those offers but now like if you you can't even get a parcel less than 12 to 14,000 mana unless you're really lucky and someone's really wanting to dump their land ah <sighs> what else do we have guys what else do we have what are we minus two days so these ones sold for a pretty good price for the seller so he sold ones that are that they aren't even connected to any single roads but in this kind of vegas pocket so this space over here sold for the lands over here sold for twenty five thousand mana each the guy that bought this also bought these two a while ago for also about twenty five thousand mana each so it makes sense he wanted to just i guess connect this whole estate up which is now six eight what 10 14 lands connected it's a pretty good pretty good um estate there if you connect all three of them um i would imagine like this area will be pretty popping because you got vegas and you got dcl university right so people will be moving in and out of these areas um so it's a good place definitely but it's also a good price for the seller as well because like i'm assuming this guy picked it up for you know a thousand mana so he's 25 x his investment great deal there for him you've got what else do we have guys what else do we have? oh is this mine i think this one's mine yep 7a that is mine i sold it for 38,500 mana that was a good deal for whoever picked it up and also for me too i think i picked that one up for 15,000 mana so quick 20,000 mana flip for me you know what sometimes guys i just i know i can get more for my parcels sometimes but it's also you also have to factor in how long you have to wait to get the sale yes i could list this for 55 or 60,000 mana and that might be market price but i might have to sit on it for like a month before it sells Whereas if I could buy and sell this and make a quick like 25,000 mana profit as opposed to, um, you know, 35,000 mana profit, then I could reinvest that 25,000 mana and then make more money. So that's why, I kind of, yeah, my parcels are a bit cheaper when I sell them and I probably don't maximize my profit. But my strategy allows me to reinvest and kind of build really, really quickly. And I've seen plenty of times people flip my land and you know what? Go for it. Make that money. Everyone's going to make that money. All right. Page two. Page two. Man, I think land prices have gone even more higher. Like, I used to see 15 to 19. Like, I used to see, you know, numbers that were under 20,000. So, in between 10 and 20,000 pretty often. Like this. But I'm seeing so many, like, over 20,000 mana deals. Oh, okay, here we go. Back to yeah, we're pretty good. Um, 20,000 mana for lands that are somewhat close. So you can see like these are all clustered together, right? Again, 20,000 mana, the higher end of that area. Um, 15 to 20,000 mana is that area. You got 25,000 mana. What else do we have? What else do we have? So you got two parcels connected. So, so for 25,000 mana each, which is definitely on the higher end of um, single, pa single road lands. Connected to the DC and Decentraland sign. Um, what else do we have? Whoa! 89,000 mana. Right, who the hell sold that? Wow. That's like 50x. That's a big sale. Big, big, big sale. You know, some of these, sometimes, like, you get an investor who's really interested in a particular district. And there's only like one or two parcels for sale connected to that district. So he may have no choice if he wants it that badly than to buy it. So again, like I have mentioned this before, but you have to kind of analyze to see how unique your parcel of land is. If it is unique and there's not many parcels like it, like it's connected to a certain district which doesn't have many districts, many people, connect, many lands connected to it, then yeah, you know, you can price it kind of high and just wait for a while. Any other good deals? Let's look for some good deals. Some juicy, juicy deals. Where some good deals happen? Now these are all pretty, pretty solid. Maybe between seventeen to twenty thousand mana is what I expect single road parcels to go for. Um, again, see, I mentioned this before. Twenty-five thousand mana. Well, any, any, any good deals? Let's see. Let's see if there were some. Like, oh, what the hell? 226,000 mana? For real? Wow. Okay, 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 okay. What else have we got? 100,000 mana? 
that that pocket is really rare to get lands and and one connected to this is actually quite a rare parcel oh, what else we have what else we have guys 35,000 mana whoa dude 47,500 mana that's ridiculous that is a ridiculous price wow this guy made some good money that four months ago 14,000 mana 20,000, 47,000 mana. Holy crap. There was actually a time, like a couple months ago, where there was about four parcels here that were selling for like 8,000 mana each. Man, Decentraland is really starting to pop. We've got more parcels that have sold connected to the Decentraland sign. So now it's like between 20 and 30,000 now, the Decentraland sign. You know what, guys? Like the last three months, I've seen a huge increase in prices. 100,000 mana for one connected to this district so now if you've got a land connected to connected to some good districts it might be worth like pricing them pretty high to be honest starting to get some good volume okay so last page i have kind of come across all these you know i've looked at all these lands before but it's kind of good going through them again just to go through them on a weekly basis anything really interesting here so this is a no that wasn't connected to a road 13,600. So this was like the cheaper and you can see now the cheapest parcel to get is 15,000 mana. Um, this was only a couple of blocks away. Well, 32,000 mana, that's from Battlegrounds. Is that my parcel that I sold ages ago? Better not be my parcel. Damn, I had one exactly like this. No. Wait. Could this be me? No, that's not me. Uh, what else do we have, guys? What else do we have? Um, fourteen eight hundred. So you can see there were some good deals here. Um, every now and then, you know, all you need to do is make a couple of good deals a month, and that's like, in many cases, a couple of thousand dollars a month. If you make ten thousand amount of profit, then um, that's a thousand US dollars in most cases. Um, like if if we're counting mana to be at ten cents. And in some countries, you know, that's fifteen thousand dollars. Like in Australia, ten thousand US dollars is like fourteen thousand Australian dollars. Just some big money, like two of those a month, and that's a good monthly. Like three of those a month would be a really good salary here. Um, so that's that, guys. Let's check out um, estates. What's been going on with the estate world? So this website here, mydcl.com, has been tracking some estates as of late, and. Um, I'm very impressed with whoever made this and how they've kind of built this because like this, I, I have been waiting for a, kind of an estate, you know, estate sale history for a while. Uh, what are some good deals, some good estates for sale? This one was a killer deal. Like whoever picked this up for 110,000. So this parcel connected to the double road here that should that should sell for anything anywhere between 70 to 100,000. Okay, easily sell for that price. And you can always price it higher than that. I've got one for sale right here for about 160,000. I could probably sell that for 140,000. I've actually had an offer for 140,000 mana. I turned it down and then the person ended up buying something someone something else, but this three land estate. So that one sold for 100,000. That one could be resold for 100,000. This one could be resold for 45. This one could be resold for 45. So that's about 190,000, 200,000 mana value there right and he picked it up for 110,000 so worst case scenario like 70 to 90,000 mana profit flip from this he could probably make if he splits them up and sells them again or keep it as an estate and re resell them but that was a good deal whoever picked that one up um what else do we have guys what else do we have so we got a three piece here that sold for about 16 and a half thousand mana each close to genesis center genesis this one was my one that i picked up um what else do we have? I'll go back to that. This was my one that I sold. So this was like, what was that? How many pieces was this? I forgot. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, seven. Seven times twenty-five, twenty. I think it, I think it sold for like twenty-five thousand mana each. And there was like another two estates that were connected, and the same buyer that bought this bought these other two. But this one was mine, and I, and I actually bought this for. Um, 80,000 mana. So I sold it again for, I think, 149,000 or something. For all of them. Oh, right. It says right here. 149,000. So it was a good 70,000 mana flip for me. 
Um, what else do we have? There's quite a lot of estate volume, guys. Like, this is good stuff. Like, this is what I want to see. So this is, you know, um, estates have only been out for like five days and it's been like half a mil, probably two mil, three million, about three, two and a half to three million mana worth of sales just from estates, guys. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of um, volume from estates and it's good and I hope more people come in and buy this stuff. So this was, this was my estate that I bought for 200, I actually bought this for 230,000 mana. This was actually a price negotiated by a private deal and then the guy... We, we just felt more comfortable for him to list it and me to really quickly pick it up. I kind of feel, usually I just go privately and I get him to send an estate and I'll send the, the manor. It's usually the opposite. So I'll send the manor, he sends the, the estate. But uh, with estates, it's, um, it's a lot more risk, right? You're sending like 100,000, 200,000 manor at any given time. So it's a lot of money to risk or put forward. Um... So what else do we have, guys? Uh, yeah, so just quickly going through this one, why I bought this for 230,000 mana. If you do the math, there's about 15 parcels there. If you do the math, that's about 15,000 mana a parcel, which is at the cheapest end, right? So 15,000 mana is like the cheapest single parcel you can get. But considering that these are like really close to Genesis Center, like this is pretty close to the center Genesis Plaza. And I've got 15 parcels clustered together and I bought them each for 15,000 mana. You can see how it's a win-win. I bought it for like the cheapest possible price. And two, they're an estate. Three, they're really close to Genesis Plaza. So there's actually not that many, um, there's not that many estates that are selling in this area that are of this size or like in, in Genesis Center. Like there's this one here that's selling for two mil. There's my little one up here that's selling for, I put it up for what? 650,000, I'll probably sell it for about 550,000 mana. There's these two that aren't for sale. And then there's my one, 600,000 mana that is for sale. So if someone does want something big, like some commercial institute comes in, wants to buy some big set of estate, then hopefully my one sticks out at 600,000 mana and that'll give me an easy few hundred thousand mana um, profit, right? So that's why I bought that one, where I negotiated that price real low. And uh, yeah, well, my, my kind of thoughts on the whole thing is estates, I would have thought a lot more estates would sell, but I did predict that people are going to price their estates ridiculously high, which I'm guilty of doing myself as well. Um, like this one, right? If you look at the math behind this one, so 600,000 divided by 15, that's like 50, 50 times 10. That's like 45, 40,000 40, mana. Is it? Four times 15, 600. Yeah. That's about 40,000 40, mana per individual land is what I'm asking, which is quite expensive. And um, I put my email there. So what I want is this guy to like, whoever is interested, I want them to negotiate with me. And maybe I'll come down 50,000 mana and settle on a price. And um, either way, if I sell it for like 500,000 mana or something, I'll be happy. But um, a lot of other estates are like pretty overvalued. Valued. So look at this 2 million mana for 20 piece estate. That's 100,000 mana a parcel. Um, like, most of the times, this is 300,000 mana for eight pieces of land. That's like 50, 35 to 40,000 mana. That's 40,000 mana a parcel. So yeah, I think these are like pretty overpriced. So the estates that are selling are ones that are well priced and are kind of fair to the buyer as well. So maybe um, I'll go ahead and change some of my pricing. But estates have brought in a lot of volume and I really hope non-fungible non starts to catch that volume and we start to record that I can start to tweet about it. But um, yeah, it's been a really good week. Yesterday, it was kind of slow because the marketplace was was slow and I think they were doing some bug fixes. But now things have picked up. Like you can look at non-fungible and you, you notice if we just stay on page one that if you stay on page one, like there's been quite a lot of activity. You know, in the last 24 hours, there's been so much lands that have sold and I'm happy. I, I like to see consistent volume and that's the most important thing with whatever I'm invested in, especially with crypto collectibles, because it's volume that dictates um, whether it's popular and consistently good volume shows that people continuously invest and there's new investors coming in that are putting money and growing this, um, uh, you know, this whole project. That's it from me, guys. I know it started a bit gloomy. I apologize if it's not as kind of fun for you to watch, but I uh, hope there's some takeaways you guys can take away from this. And um, yeah, enjoy and uh, good luck on the marketplace.